I've got a message for a guy, Adami, at CNBC, who recently said during the interview with Chad Bainan and Matt Coors that the hedge funds could easily cover in one day. Yeah, maybe they could, guy, but they won't because they're too damn arrogant. And now I'm going to talk about it. Tony DeNaro here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to talk about why the shorts will not cover in one day, even if they could, which they can. But first, I want to start out by touching on one point, this notion that Macquarie Group increased their position of AMC by 618%, which is technically true. If we look at Fintel, we can see that at the quarter ending March 31st, Macquarie had 1,560 shares. And if we look at the report for the quarter that ended June 30th, they now have 11,000 shares, up 618%. But that data is only good as of the end of June 30th. We have no idea what they've done with their AMC shares in the past two months. So for all we know, they could hold zero shares right now. And it's a bit of a stretch to pin him to the wall, and then say he increased his position 618%. We'll find out in 90 days when they file their next report how many shares they actually have. It's also interesting to note their positions over the last few years. You can see it on this chart here with the bars, and these dates at the bottom are completely wrong, but it does give you a pictorial representation of their previous ownership, which was 70 to 80,000 shares. Then they dropped down to 1,000, and now they have 11,000 as of the end of June. You can see in the filings here where those 70 and 87,000 shares were back in 2014, 2015. So again, this is just the pictorial representation with bad months at the bottom of the chart. Another Fintel problem. And let's actually listen to the very beginning of Chad's interview with Melissa Lee, where he touched on this for a second. I mean, look, we, you know, for starters, for the past couple of years, we've been bulls on the space. We've been real, real believers that the streaming and the, uh, the PVOD won't disrupt this industry. So Chad made his case and then Matt Kors came on and he made his case. And then we get this panel of analysts, the first of which was Guy Adami. And the first thing he said was that the shorts could cover in a day if they wanted to. I mean, the short squeeze, I mean, I, I understand, but, you know, it's interesting. The stock average, recently, stock average is about 140 million shares traded a day. So if mm -hmm. you're short the stock, you have ample opportunity to get out on a daily, if not uh, hourly basis. So, I, you know, I understand, I get it, people are short, they're going to have to cover. But basically, on any given day, those shorts can cover in spades. So I'm not quite sure that holds as much water as, as, you, as the, the folks want to think. One thing I want to start off with is looking at what percentage of the daily volume is short selling. And you can see consistently for the past six months, I could go back further, but the past six months, half of our volume every day is short selling. But that doesn't tell the whole story because even when the stock skyrocketed in June, Certainly some of the shorts covered, but some of them took new positions at the higher price. So this chart does not tell us the whole story. When we look at the Ortex data, just to have a reference point to talk about this, shares on loan are roughly 100 to 111 million on any given day. And we can also look on this chart and see the times when they covered some of their positions. So here on this dip, they went from 19% down to 14%. On this dip, they went from 17% down to 11%. So what happens to the price when they close out just 20 million shares? Well, look what happened here. The price skyrocketed to 72. Here they tried to close out another 20 million shares. Again, the price jumped up. Notice here, they tried to close out another 10 or 15 million shares. What immediately happened after that? The price went up. And here on this final downtrend from 19 to 17%, just 10 million shares, again, the price shoots up. There's a lot of buyers for AMC on any given day, and the only thing keeping the price down is the short selling that's going on. 
When these short sellers are closing out their short positions, they're just adding to that buying pressure and it sends the stock up every time. The short sellers know that for every 1% or 2% that they get out of their short position, the stock price is going to skyrocket because they're just contributing to the buying pressure. They are scared to death to close out 100 million shares in one day. Can you imagine all of the buying pressure from the ape family from the community plus the shorts closing out 100 million shares plus them not reestablishing new short positions? This, this thing would skyrocket. They're not going to close out their shares in one day, even if they could. So even though Guy is technically correct, I don't ever see this happening that they're going to close out all their shorts in one day until the actual squeeze happens and they're forced to. And that's just going to send this thing skyrocketing higher than any of us can imagine. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button. I'm Tony DeNaro. Please share this video, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. And I will see you on the next video.